silent. Son of a bitch. Have the right to an attorney. Cannot afford an attorney. Where is he? I don't know. No more games, sir. You were on your way to see him. No, I wasn't. You were just compelled to flee the custody of a federal agent. I just wanted a donut, sir. Get her a donut. Can we get her a donut? Get her a donut. Get her a donut! A donut! But no. Hey, it's me. Just call me when you get this, okay? It's important. Okay? All right, I know this is hard, and I know what you want to do. Okay, but I'm trying to do something here, and you need to deal with that reality. If you lost the kid? Yeah, I did too. My wife was pregnant, and there were complications, and the doctor messed up. She, and they both, they didn't make it. Okay, so I understand. What would you do? If you were me and that man. It was right there. It was right there. What would you do? I don't know what I would do. But look, I'm giving you my word. When the time is right, I won't stand in your way. When the time is right. So. Can you take a walk? Yeah. <clears throat> That's how we should go. Let's go inside. My son's autopsy report said that he He'd been shot twice. Once in the stomach. Why? Why? Just terrify my wife! And then a full five minutes later... Right You too will suffer. And when, and when you can't stand the pain anymore, you'll make a phone call for me. You know, Schofield said that said the torture wouldn't work because the general would hear the fear in your voice. But the thing is, I want the person on the other end of my call to hear the fear in your voice. 
most sensitive nerve endings are right here. That's why acupuncturists avoid placing needles anywhere near them, because opening up the nerve endings in a fingertip, even a little pinprick, can result in quite a painful hot flash. So a five-inch needle being driven up the length of the camera. It make your feel like they're on fire. Another fact of physiology. The human body, when in extreme duress, begins to shut down. Brain activity decreases and your heart rate slows. So you just can't feel the pain anymore. And that's where the heart monitor and the battery come in. Because when your heart rate dips below 50, that battery will give you a wake-up call. Preventing your body from shutting down and then you will feel every ounce of the pain. That's when you're gonna beg me to make the phone call. I'll escort the boy. <laughs> Otis right. Otis elevator on the right. What is he planning? Keep it the holster. No one gets hurt. Keep it in the holster. up and your kid can walk. No. It's the only way he's getting out of this place. It's the home. only way! Dad! Dad! Hey, you gotta let me go. Dad! So you know, man, I'm not gonna roll on those guys. It ain't gonna happen, so if that's what this is about. We were talking about confession earlier. And, uh... I think I owe you an apology. Because I lied to you. 
pot Oscar shells. Smart edge just kept pushing it. I snapped. Right there. That's where I put the bullet in him. I don't care about none of this. The mistake about that is that forensics will tell the whole tale. Powder burns. The gun was right against his head. So, I think we should go back to See, that's what's good about confession, you know, because you, you, you say something, you get it off your chest, and it just goes out there into the whole world, and I'm so sorry about this, kid, because I really hope you understand. Yo, yo. I got no nothing fault. against you, kid. What are you doing, man? But they do. Here's the deal. All charges dropped and the government picks up medical costs until you're fit to be deported. All contingent upon your information being accurate. Where's Schofield? No deportation. I want citizenship. Citizenship? Little incentive. And I want it in writing. Oh, yeah. I'm so tired of playing games. We'll start typing. No external pacemaker. Hey, this is a good one. No morphine drug. Huh? What are you doing? FBI, out, out, out. What the hell are you doing? Give me a little incentive. Come on. Come on, you son of a... And they found... Mr. Mahon. Raul Darinda. I'm the public defender appointed to your case. That's, uh, that's great. That's great. I, I've been putting together some notes that I... Looks like I have some great news. We got you a trial date. <laughs> that's really... Th th thank God. I think of when. June 13th. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Th the 13th. The 13th. That was last week. But, what? We, 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 we missed it? June 13th of next year, Mr. Mahone. Next year. How the hell is that great news? It usually takes two and a half years for a non-citizen to get before a judge. I've got a guy in, in here. His name is Michael Schofield. And, and he will testify that he set me up. And that he put the drugs on the boat. Which will all it's be taken into consideration. A year from now! I'm going to have to ask you to calm down, Mr. <laughs> it's open and shut. It's a no-brainer for you. I got a guy... The notion to of the one fact. inmate taking the fall for another? It's not exactly fresh, and usually means someone was pressured into the confession. Well, here's the thing, Raul. I require a certain medication that they, well, they just don't provide here. And I'm, let's just say that it's, it would be good for everybody if, um, if I got this medication. Is that a threat? No, no, it's a reality. It's, it's, it's called Veratril, and, and, and if you... Look, if you're asking me to smuggle drugs into this prison, then... No, no, I'm not... I'm not asking you to smuggle I'm just saying, if you could get... Good luck, Mr. Mahoney. Wait a second, what? Wait a second, what?